Hey what's up everyone, I have not made a Steam Deck video in a little while and I figured we should get straight back into it. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a pretty cool utility that you can now get which is Cryo Utilities 2.0. I'm sure if any of you guys are very into the Steam Deck and Steam Deck news you'll probably have seen this, but for anybody who doesn't know, this is a piece of software that is developed by an independent developer who has about 15 years of experience using Linux and coding for Linux. Uh, this guy really knows what he's doing, so this piece of software will not damage your Steam Deck if you use it correctly. It only takes a couple of minutes to set up and it will give you a little bit of a performance boost to some of your games. Now, I'm not gonna say that it's going to make a huge difference, but it will make a little bit of a difference. And I feel like that the games are a little bit smoother after you've done the Cry Utilities install. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is of course, go ahead to the GitHub repository, which I will leave linked down in the description below. You're gonna to wanna to head over to the readme page, read up on it before you install it or use it, make sure that it's actually what you want. And if you don't wanna do that, you can also use the link down in the description below to watch the official maker's video, which goes over Cry Utilities in detail. It's a little bit over an hour long, and it goes into extreme detail on what all of the settings do and why you might wanna change them. Or you can, of course, just use the recommended settings once you get it set up. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the install section of the GitHub. You're going to right click and save this file to your desktop. Once you have the .desktop file on your desktop, you just wanna open it up. Make sure that you have a sudo password before doing this. Uh, Otherwise, it's not going to work since you do need root permissions. If you don't know how to do sudo setup, I'll just explain very quickly. You just need to open up your console, spelled with a K, and type P-A-S-S-W-D. So that will get you set up. You just need to type a password that's very easy to remember and just hit enter type it again, hit enter, and your pseudo password will be set. But with that out of the way, all you need to do is open up the newly installed Cryo Utilities desktop icon and just accept all of the prompts that it tells you as well as inputting your pseudo password and that'll get you ready for the next step. Now, Cryo Utilities can be used in both a GUI or a command line interface mode. So whatever you are most comfortable with, you can go ahead and do. For most people, I think the GUI is probably the easiest, so we'll go there. Uh, and you can, of course, adopt all of the recommended settings from the developer. He's done tons of experimenting and testing. As he said in his video, he took over 100 hours of testing to put together the video that he made and to come up with the recommended settings. So I think it's a pretty good bet that he knows uh, exactly what you should do and what you shouldn't do with this tool. So I think his recommended settings are just fine. But as I said, if you did want to tinker around with a little bit more, I will leave his video in the description below as he goes into great detail. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is increase our VRAM from one gigabyte up to four. This is something that's recommended by the developer. It's very easy to do. All you need to do is just shut down your Steam Deck and then hold the plus volume button and hit the power on. That will boot your Steam Deck into the uh, sort of BIOS mode. And now we can go ahead and go to the advanced settings here and you just want to scroll down until you get to the RAM setting and we'll just change this from one gigabyte up to four. So let's see what kind of performance we can get. So we'll go ahead and play some Spider-Man Miles Morales. This game you're not going to see too huge of a difference because it is pretty well optimized, but we'll check it out. On average with the settings that I use before, I was getting about 30 FPS maybe a little bit lower. So we'll see what our averages look like now. 
just to show you guys the settings that I'm using here. Of course, 1280 by 800 resolution, full screen, VSync on, upscaling method, FSR 2.1. We have a dynamic resolution scaling set to 30 FPS. And as far as graphics are concerned, medium settings. All right, so I did actually go ahead and revert my Steam Deck back to stock. And I typically, without these cryo utility settings, get between 30 and 35 FPS with a high of 40 in general swinging and combat, which is not really too far off from what we get with cryo utilities. So it's not a huge difference as I'd mentioned before. But again, since it's so easy, why not just do it? Let's try the quarry. This game is a little bit harder to run. All right, so just to take a look at the settings before we get started. So we have 1280 by 800 resolution, VSync off, frame rate limited to 30 FPS. We'll turn that off for now, just so that way we can see if we get anything higher than 30. Our preset is custom, so we have anti-aliasing at medium, SSAO on, texture quality medium, shadow quality normal, depth of field normal, effect quality medium, full age quality medium. So with this game, frame rates can really vary, uh, especially at stock settings. So what I noticed when I went back to regular stock settings was that I was getting dips down into 15 FPS with lows of 10 FPS. Uh, averages was right around 25 FPS, so really not the best as far as uh, cutscene performance. So as you see here, we're hitting 30 FPS generally, in some cases dipping down to as low as 15 FPS, but honestly this is better performance than I was getting before Cry Utilities by about 50% in some cases. So. I think even on a game that's as challenging to run as this, I think it's a pretty nice upgrade. All right, and then we'll check out one more of the more challenging games on the Steam Deck, which is of course Gotham Knights. This game has notoriously bad optimization for pretty much everything, so we'll see how the Steam Deck handles it. So in terms of this type of gameplay where we're inside of an environment and we're just sort of walking around and fighting, it's pretty much no difference between cryo utilities and stock settings. I get about 40 FPS with the settings that I use, and uh, even like I said without cryo utilities I was getting about 40 FPS. Where you see a bit more of a difference is when you're outside in the open world, and in those cases, Cry Utilities does help out a little bit, but as you've seen with other games in this example, uh, there really is not a huge, huge difference, but definitely if you want to take a couple of percent increase in performance for basically three to five minutes of work, it's really a pretty nice upgrade. But again, don't expect miracles to happen because it's not really because uh, it's not really going to actually change out any of the hardware. It's not like you're getting a new CPU, GPU, or anything else like that. It's just tweaking the hardware that's already there. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at Cry Utilities. Definitely check it out. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.